Hello, and welcome back to AvengerCraft. This is episode 21, and today we are going to work on our storage system. Now, a couple episodes ago, we put in about a fourth of our modules that we need to build. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to build up a whole bunch more, and I'll be back. Alright, and we're back. We're standing here in front of the first couple of modules that I built. And I have been working on figuring out what needs to go where, and I've also put up our water stream. Now, I had quite a bit of problems with this because we're not in a straight line. So, oh, fell through the floor there. So let's go ahead and hop up there and see what I had to do to make this work. So I've cut a whole bunch of seed pickles, and this is just to align the items to where they go into the correct module. Now, on a few of these, I've just got them just as placeholders because I'm not sure exactly what I want in every single one of these. So as you can see, I've got some blank spots. This is in the decoration block section. So I will figure that out once I get my bulk storage set up. That way I can see how much stuff I've got extra and what else I can actually sort. But I have got everything built up. I have got all of our trees here in our tree section. And I'm going to leave a couple spaces here for the new trees that are coming out in 1.16. Over here is our building blocks. So as you can see, I've got them all sorted out here. So I know I want to put a few more colors of terracotta here, but I'm not sure which ones, because I do have limited options of what I can sort. And then everything else will just be bulk storage, and that will be right over here. All right, so if I hop up here, you can see this is where all of our items are going to fall. And I have an ice path right here. This comes from the tree farm. I have just put the ice there. I haven't actually hooked anything else up. But I need to be able to drop in items into a chest or something and have them all meet up right in here. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and see where we can put that. And as you can see, I've just got a mess everywhere. This is why I desperately need this sorting system. Hmm. So looking here, I'm thinking maybe a chest right here. So let's dig out here and see where we end up. Oh, there we go. And our ice path is... Oh, right there. So all I'm going to do is take this and straight into here. That shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see. Let's get down here. And grab some packed ice and try to link all of this up. So we'll lay our packed ice here. That's probably not a good idea to take out any of our light sources. So let's take that up one more block. There we go. So we'll just run our items along here, and everything will pop out into this water stream, like one of our stone bricks just did. So let's go and see if that actually landed over here. So. Looking down here, here's stone bricks. And I don't remember how many I put in there. <laughs> mm. 
need to test this out. So we've got 40 in there right now. Let's go ahead and fly on over. Oh, there we go. So if I drop one, two, three in there. Let's watch them run across. And then go check out if they make it. Oh, and I have some dark spots, evidently. OK, that's fun. All right, so they should be coming across here pretty soon. Unless I missed an item filter somewhere, which is highly possible. All right, I need to go figure out where those landed. All right, so I did a little bit of searching and I found out that I missed a couple of item filters along here, and that is where our stone bricks ended up. So I've now fixed that, so let's test this one more time. So we'll go ahead and drop three in there. There's still only 40 currently in the hopper. Had my hitboxes on so that I could figure out where everything was going. So let's go ahead and hop up here. Maybe. There we go. And there. And it looks like they're still hanging up on something. Let's go see if I can find them. Huh. They're hanging up right here. That's weird. All right, so after some testing, I figured out what was going on. The items were hanging up on the sea pickles, so I went and found me some honey blocks in Preprom space because he's got quite the honey farm, so I went in and took these from him, and I'll pay him for those next time I see him. So now, if we throw a couple of stone bricks in here, you see they fly right past until they hit the spot where I have not replaced them and stop. So I'm going to have to replace all of these sea pickles with honey blocks except for these corner pieces. Now the reason that I can't put a honey block here is because the item will actually stop right here in this corner. Because of the hit boxes, they will collide with the honey block and just stop. So I'm going to leave the sea pickles here, but all the rest of these need to be honey blocks. So I will be back once I've got that done. All right, and we're back. I have got all of the honey blocks in. I've changed up the design just a little bit because this wasn't working 100% the way that I had it set up. And I've also crafted up a whole bunch of shulker boxes from our end rays with pepper hops. So as you can see, all the lights are on, all except for this one. This one is stone, and I already have 
a bunch of shulker boxes down here and I'm out. I was doing a whole bunch of testing just to make sure that this all worked and so after all the extensive testing that I did down here I was tired of being in this room so I went to the end to get even more shulker boxes. So if we look in here let's look at the loot. We got some diamond gear but not very much of it. But look at that, we got four elytras, a little bit more diamond gear, four blocks of diamonds, and almost six stacks of shulker shells. This is going to make a whole bunch of shulker boxes so that we can put these into our system and actually bring all of our items down here from up above and from this massive pile of chests, which were from clearing out this entire room. So... The only thing I've got left to do is build up a bulk storage system right over here. But I will have to do that next time because that is all I've got time for today, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. This has been Buggy Hoser, and goodbye.